Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this edition of Press Review on GDC Plus TV. Monday, February 22nd, opens with the Star newspaper, which carries as main headline on the National Assembly, who picks interest, dispatches follow-up mission. It says that members of the parliament for the FACO East constituency Honorable Itombi Ikome Gladys and Friendly Stanley on Wednesday, February 17, visited the site hosting construction works for the realization of over 11 billion project referral hospital for the southwest region. The delegation, which was led by Honorable Itombi Gladys, accompanied by the representative of the governor of the southwest, was on the site to discuss with the various shareholders. The story continues on page 3. We move on to the voice which titles on Batomo Road neglected since independence. Batomo villagers began digging road by hand. According to this newspaper, the digging began since 2016. Men, women and children joined their hands to create their own way after being abandoned by the government. This story continues on page 5. From the voice newspaper, we move to the Guardian Post which talks about Professor Ufe Sinje. The paper granted her an interview in which she speaks out on alleged mismanagement at the University of Gaoundere. This story continues on page 8. Still on the same paper, we learn that the Cameroon Association of English-speaking journalists, Kamasearch, takes journalist plight to diplomatic missions. More on page 3. We close this edition of Press Review with the Herald, which titles The Dweller Port Container Terminals Recording Outstanding Performance in the Year 2020. You want to know on how the director of this port, Faustin Dingama, got to that point? Read page 3. Seen on this newspaper, we learn that a hungry lion went on rampage and injured 11 persons in the far north region of Cameroon. Get to know more about this story on page 8. That does with what the newspaper had to say today. Thank you for watching. On to our next edition.